Hello, my wonderful students. I missed you so much. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Cooking with Miss Teresa, cooking for students with disabilities and all students all over the world. So thank you so much to my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy my channel. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, you gotta like and subscribe. Are you here to cook with me today? Well, if you are, make sure you stick around for today's cooking lesson. All right, guys, so I'm here at Sprouts and this is what a normal lunch box looks like, okay? And you see right here, it says $4.99. It comes with a sandwich, a water, an applesauce, um, a cookie, and this is a half a sandwich. There's a bag of chips in the back, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to make your own at home and you can totally save some money. All right, my wonderful students, for today's recipe, these are the ingredients you're gonna need. You are gonna need some artisano bread, okay? Now, if you have a different type of bread sometimes people like wheat bread or sourdough bread go ahead use whatever bread you want but this is the kind that miss Teresa is using you're going to need um, some lettuce some type of lettuce so I'm just gonna use the spinach and spring mix lettuce that I have that I usually make my salads with whatever type of lettuce you have iceberg spinach whatever will be great too uh, we're going to need some real mayonnaise, some yellow mustard, yes, 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 and we're going to need some Kobe Jack cheese, and I have some Swiss cheese here, and then I also have some chicken breast, okay? So this is what really makes it a sprout sandwich, the sliced, fresh, in-store buffalo chicken breast. Um, this meat is so good. Okay, and I really uh, suggest that when you go to your local grocery store, go to the fresh deli section and get that fresh deli sliced meat. Okay, it makes a world of a difference. But if you don't have that, my wonderful students, it's okay. I use the prepackaged meat too. But this is what I'm showing you today. You're also going to need a paper plate. Um, I have a plastic. Uh, teaspoon and a regular plastic knife you're going to need some sandwich bags and some wax paper if you have it if you don't have the wax paper that's okay so anyway this is what you need to make this yummy delicious simple sprout sandwich all right guys so now we're getting ready to make our sandwich and this is going to be so easy you know what i always say as one two, three. So I have our bread and I'm going to take two slices out. Okay. Now everything that I purchased here today came from Sprouts except this bread. Um, but Sprouts have really good bread too. So it really doesn't matter what type of bread you have. Well, it does, but just make sure it's a nice, soft, um, uh, buttery bread okay so we I got the two slices okay you're gonna put them on your paper plate okay so this is a teaspoon all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig in this mayonnaise and if you don't like mayonnaise hey don't get it I'm gonna get the teaspoon and I am going to get it off and put it on my sandwich, okay? You're gonna get your knife and scrape it off, all right? 
And then you can either spread it with the knife or the spoon, but I'm gonna go ahead and spread it with the knife, okay? It's just easier. All right, so that's one teaspoon. And usually when you spread it, so if you spread it across and then you spread it again, you can get the leftover mayonnaise that's left. And then you take that and you put it on the other side of your sandwich. You see that? So if you want one tablespoon, I mean teaspoon, there I go, there I go, there I go, there I go again. If you take one teaspoon of mayonnaise, it will cover both of your sandwich. If you want more, like Miss Teresa does, I like a little bit more mayonnaise. So I'm just gonna get maybe this much, okay? Just one more because we're gonna put a nice amount of meat on here and cheese. Now, if this was Kennedy sandwich, um, I would still make it the same way and you're gonna see what I do after making this for Kennedy. So this is how your bread should look, all right? Now what Miss Teresa likes to do is get a little bit of mustard, shake it up, shake it up. And all you have to do, this is why they put it in here so you can squeeze it, okay? So this is a squeezable container. So I'm just gonna make sure the mustard, I feel the mustard is at the end. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Four little um, squeezes, okay? And then I'm just gonna spread it on both sides. That's all, I just like a little mustard. Now some people like mustard by itself, mayonnaise by itself. This is your sandwich, you can do it however you want. But I'm just showing you how to make a great sandwich my way. So I'm gonna get the Swiss cheese. Okay, and I'm going to put that on one side. So you put the Swiss cheese on one side of the bread. Now make sure that one didn't have paper in the middle, the Swiss cheese. But you see how this one does? So to get the cheese, you grab the paper. Okay, you see that? You see there's paper right there. Now do we want to eat the paper? No, we don't eat paper, even though I know some of you like to eat paper, but we're not going to eat the paper. We never eat paper. It's not good for us. So I'm going to take that off and place it on the other side of the sandwich. All right. Now, I'm going to get this buffalo meat. Okay. And what you're going to do is and if you need help from your parents, that's fine. I'm just gonna tear some of this paper off and put it right back on, okay? No big deal. Just so I can open it a little bit more smoother. So you see that? Whoa, yeah. So, what I like to do is get a slice of meat. Okay, you see that? And it's not that wet. Sometimes the meat is wet, but this looks pretty good. So I sometimes wipe it off, but it's okay. So I'm going to get the meat and you're going to fold it. See that? All right. So I got the meat and I did a fold. And I'm going to get another piece of meat. Oh, hold on. Sometimes these things are... Make sure it's one slice, okay? Each time you get it. Get another piece of meat and fold it again. Then I'm gonna get one more and just take half of that. I know you're like, Miss Teresa, oh my gosh, that's so much meat. But that's how they make it in the store. It's totally okay. Even the school lunches have a nice amount of meat when they make the school lunch sandwiches. Now, this is just meat and cheese. You, you know, my student and my daughter, all she wants is the condiments and meat and cheese. My oldest son just eats meat and cheese, no condiments. 
I, you can make it however you want. But this is how I am making it. Now, if you want to put lettuce on your sandwich, which I'm going to do on this one, and this lettuce is kind of wet. So what I do is just put it on a paper towel like so, okay? And I'm going to pat it dry. You see that water? It's coming off, okay? And I'm going to add it. Look at there. Now it's not so wet. You don't want a wet, soggy sandwich. So I'm going to add the lettuce. Lettuce is so good for you. So there's nothing wrong with adding lettuce. Now, I'm going to take the bread. All right, make sure that it matches. And I'm going to put it on top. <gasps> Wowzers! Look at that. I mean, this is so simple and it's gonna taste so delicious, I promise you. All right, so now what you wanna do is cut it. I'm gonna cut it straight down the middle. All right, look at that. Woo, okay. I'm telling you, you see these little sandwich boxes at the store, you can make your own and it's gonna taste delicious, all right? Now stick around and I'm gonna show you how to pack your lunch. All right, so now we're going to build our lunch. We're gonna pack our lunch, okay? And what I like to do sometimes is get a white uh, paper bag and what you can do is you can write yourself a little positive note on your lunch bag so when you get ready to eat lunch, you have something nice and positive to read throughout the day. So sometimes I would write a little note to Kennedy on hers, but um, also, you know, you can draw your own, um, you can decorate your own bag, okay? So like, I'm gonna do a smiley face and maybe some heart eyes. Heart eyes, and we're gonna make a big smile and a little red tongue, okay? Yes, and then you're gonna color in the heart eyes. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something simple and fun, okay? And then you can write like a message and um encouraging mess message to yourself so like you can say today today will end great yeah okay today will end great all right you can do something like that or or you can get any color you want. I'm just going to give you two examples. And you can make another smiley face. Or whatever you want to make. Okay. And I'm going to do these eyes. All right. And then I'm going to do a big smile. Miss Teresa loves to smile. If anybody ever asks you, why is she always smiling? I know. I am always smiling. Okay. And I'm going to. Make some little dimples. I don't have any dimples, but I'm going to make some. Then I'm going to color my eyes. Okay. Look at there. And because I think I'm kind of cute, I think I'm a little cute. I'm going to put some eyelashes. Okay. Look at there. Eyelashes. Yee, look at there. And then you can write something to yourself like, I am awesome. Yes. All right. Now, isn't that cute? All right. So now we got our lunch bag all ready to go. We have I am awesome on one side. Okay. If you want to do that. And we also have today will end great. Okay. So now I'm gonna open this bag. Oh, first, let's uh, put the sandwich 
in our baggie, okay? Now, this is what I do. I usually get some wax paper because wax paper, you see how they have the sandwich on here? It keeps your sandwich fresh. If you don't have wax paper, that's fine. So I'm gonna show you how to do one with wax paper and one without. So you're gonna tear it off, okay? And then you're just gonna fold it over and fold it again on each side, okay? And just gonna hold it down. And then you're gonna put your sandwich in your bag, okay? And if you need help, remember guys, always ask for help. There's someone to always help you, all right? If not, then you pay attention. You pay attention to Miss Teresa right here. And then you're gonna get your other sandwich and you're just gonna put this in there. It doesn't matter. If you don't have the wax paper, I just wanna show you guys, sometimes you don't have a lot of the things that we see on these YouTube videos. You can always make do, okay? All right, so we have one with the wax paper and one without, and your sandwich will still stay fresh, okay? All right, oh, let me show you. To get the air out, you're going to squeeze this at the top. Okay, you wanna make sure all the air is out. Squeeze it down, and that's how you close it. All right, now, I have my bag. So just like you saw in the video earlier at the grocery store, they had a bag of chips, and I have my pickle chips, all right? So this is the pickle chips that me and Kennedy did when we did um, the snack review, so. Those are my pickle chips I love. Then you can put your sandwich in. So the chip goes like that. So you could just do one sandwich, all right? Most of you can do one sandwich, but Miss Teresa's not a one sandwich person. So I'm gonna put both of these sandwiches in here for my lunch, okay? Cause I'm, I'm gonna eat both pieces. But if this was Kennedy's lunch, she will only get half. Then I'm going to add my cookies. Okay, now I got Oreos, all right? These are the Oreo Thins. These are the type of cookies I take. You can get chocolate chip cookies, whatever you want. I also have the applesauce, all right? See, look at that. The applesauce, put that in there. I'll just put that down at the top. Now the water, I'm just gonna leave it out. And what I'm gonna do is Fold it down, okay? And then you have a nice, a nice lunch. You see that? Look at that. A nice, nice lunch, okay? So now, we have our lunch. Won't you stick around and come take a bite with me? All right, my wonderful students, I am back with the lunch that I just made, and I want you to come, we're here, so you can have a bite with me, okay? All right, so let's just pretend like we're at lunch, okay? And this is what I do at the lunch table, and I'm getting prepared for my lunch, and oh my gosh, I look at these great messages. I'm already excited about eating my lunch because I already see that, hey, I am awesome. Yes, I'm awesome. And then right here I have, today will end great. So I am ready. I'm ready for my lunch. So I'm gonna take out the applesauce, put that to the side. I'm not ready to eat that right now. Got my chips. Just take everything off the bat. Remember, I'm a two sandwich person, but I'm going to take um, one of the sandwiches out. So I'll do the one with the wax paper. And then I have my cookie. All right. So I'm going to put everything out. Or if you want to leave, you know, your cookies and your applesauce in the back, go ahead. Go right on ahead. But the first thing I like to do is open my sandwich. Okay. All right. I open my sandwich. Put it down. Woo! Look at there. And then I'm gonna open my chips. And usually some of my students 
who are nonverbal, and I'm sitting down eating lunch with them. And they can't talk. They just ask for more help, help opening something, okay? So now I have my chips ready, my sandwich, and uh, I am going to partake. But first, I want you to look how pretty this sandwich looks. Look at there. See that? That looks awesome. Everything is nice and fresh, and it's gonna taste so good. And I know you're like, Miss Reese is just meat and cheese and lettuce. Those are the best sandwiches. Like, simple is just sometimes the best, okay? Let me take a bite. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, usually, before I do a video, I eat something or have something to eat, but I haven't ate anything today yet. So, this is delicious. And, oh, these pickle chips. Number nine, add sprouts. I think they're starting to have pickle chips at the regular grocery stores too. But these are kettle pickle chips, number nine. These are delicious. So, so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> now, I know some of you are like, Miss Teresa, when you're at work eating your lunch, do you dance and make those noises? No. So I might close my eyes in my own little corner and just be like, oh my gosh, this sandwich is so good. And sometimes I do. Sometimes I go, you know, and I have to catch myself, but it's okay. If your food is good, it's time to enjoy. I know we get like, our students get like a 40, 40 minute break, lunch break. Enjoy your lunch. Have a ball. And then when you're eating, maybe you hit your teacher or you had a meltdown or you had anxiety or you made the wrong choice. That's why you write little notes to yourself to remind yourself, hey, today will end great. And you have to remind yourself, I am awesome. And that way you can continue to make great choices. It's lunchtime. And after lunchtime, you can go back to making great choices. And then you'll finish off the day wonderful. Okay? And it's like starting all over again in, a, in, in the same day without waiting for it tomorrow. So... Remember, you can make the same lunch that you see at Sprouts or Walmart has the like prepackaged lunches too. You go and get your own ingredients. Mom and dad, buy everything, okay? Saves you some money. Your mom can make a lunch. Your brother can make a lunch. Your dad, your caregiver. Everybody can have a lunch, okay? And it saves so much more. Mmm. This is delicious. Okay? Now, I still have another half. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to save that. I'm not going to eat that on camera. But you can open up your applesauce. My students, they eat all their lunch. I sit there and watch them sometimes. They are so precious. My teenagers, they eat their lunch. Mm-hmm. They eat all their cookies their parents pack them. They eat the applesauce, the chips, the sandwich. They get it in. <laughs> and Miss Teresa does too. And you can too. Because food gives you energy. And sometimes, you know, we just need that bell to ring so we can have lunch. Okay? So now you know how to make your own snack lunch 
I keep saying lunch. Well, that's what it's all about. All right? And I hope you guys are having a great, great school year. I know some of you have been in school for um, two weeks, and some of you have been um, just started last week. Anywho, I hope you guys are having an amazing time at school. I hope you're listening to your teachers. I hope you're safe, nice and safe, hand sanitizer, wearing your mask. And remember, don't forget your water, okay? Don't forget your water. Mm. Oh my God, this video is kind of long today. But it's because I missed you guys, okay? And I just wanted to show you what I've been doing at work and what you can do, okay? So remember to um, like and subscribe. Share my videos. I'm trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers. So um, if you share my videos, it encourages me to keep going. And also, YouTube will push out my videos more, okay? So that way, I can continue to make these videos and come back. I love you, love you. See you on the next video. Like, like, and subscribe. Bye.